Hey everybody, welcome back to No Bullshit. Today we're taking a look at another BuzzFeed video called The Struggle of Being Mixed Race. Let's check it out. I think I'm what Hollywood would call uh, ethnically ambiguous. <laughs> Okay, first of all, this video is way too serious. The gray background and the soft piano are way too much for this topic. Are you talking about 9-11 or child sex slaves? No, you're talking about people not knowing you're biracial. It's not that big of a deal. When people first glance at me, I mean, the first thing they see is a white guy, and usually I'll have to end up explaining to people that I am half Mexican and half white. Well, some Mexicans are white-skinned. Louis C.K. is Mexican, and he looks 100% white, and he's a ginger with no soul. I think you mean you're part Hispanic and part white, or part brown and white. Mexican isn't really a race. No one ha has ever been able to correctly identify who I am my entire life. Aw, boo-hoo. People can't magically guess what race you are. That's not a struggle. That's just a minor confusion. Maybe you should stop expecting people to be mind readers. And you know what? White people go through this exact same thing, too. I'm a white guy, and no one ever guesses I'm part English and part Irish. And does that make me mixed race, too? I doubt these BuzzFeed assholes would ever put an all-white mixed race in a video like this. You gotta be part black, Hispanic, or Asian to really get the mixed race victim points, according to these regressive social justice warriors. I've gotten Cuban, Puerto Rican, Dominican, half black, half white. People think I'm Asian. Egyptian, Polynesian, Asian. Fully white or fully Asian. Almost everyone misreads me in some way. It's very hard to guess Danish and Indian from a first glance. I've honestly heard everything. Sometimes I wish I could walk in and just like be recognized as like, a Mexican-American. And sometimes I wish I could just walk into a room and get free cocktails and hot girls jumping on my lap. But I'm just a simple man with simple pleasures. And I'm smart enough to realize that if I don't get the reaction I want from people when I walk into a room, it doesn't mean I'm living through a struggle. It means my expectations are too high and I should maybe reevaluate them. Just like you should reevaluate what race people guess you are, buddy. Mexican isn't a race and you look white. Own it. Sometimes people will come up to me on the street and like start speaking Spanish frantically and I, I can't <laughs> respond because I don't speak Spanish. Then learn Spanish. It's not that hard. Necesitas practicar tu español, tu puto. But really, do you guys really think people often run up to this guy frantically speaking Spanish? Maybe it happened to him once, but not often. Unless he's living in a Spanish-speaking area, which is probably true since all these BuzzFeed scumbags are in Los Angeles. In that case, they should all expect people to speak Spanish to them. LA is little Mexico at this point. You would not have this problem if you lived in Ohio or Wisconsin. I find that depending Depending on where I am, people read me differently. They tend to think that I'm whatever they are. People of a Hispanic background think I'm Hispanic. People who are Asian think I look Asian. An interesting part of my journey as a young multiracial person growing up. Oh God, this should be good. Millennial girls love going on their journeys. If you've ever been on Facebook, they're unavoidable. Here's my workout journey. Hey guys, look at my college journey. Hey everybody, check out my pregnancy journey. No girls, just stop it. None of these are journeys. You're not traveling. The Hobbit and unexpected journey is a journey. The journey to the center of the earth is a journey. Being biracial is not. Was rejection from sort of both sides of my ethnic identity. Just something that I grew up with my whole life. Like, I don't fit in. I don't belong to any ethnic group 100%. Well, you know what you guys do belong to? The United States of America. You're Americans and can identify with that just like many others do. This need to trace back your ancestry to Europe or Asia or wherever is getting ridiculous. Like this girl is part Danish and part Indian. She's a beautiful biracial American. She's not in India or Denmark, so unless her parents or families are big on their past cultures, she is now part of the American culture. This feeling of being an outcast is coming from within yourselves, BuzzFeed. It sounds to me like you you want to be outsiders, to be honest. So you could talk about your struggles and claim those sweet, sweet victimhood points. It's kind of sad, really. I never saw myself as different from anybody else until someone else pointed it out. The last thing you want to do is stand out. You want to blend in as much as possible. Who does? Who wants to blend in? Maybe you do, but don't speak for everyone. I mean, I'm not saying I want to stand out in a crowd either, but this girl is just assuming everyone thinks the way she does. Pretty narcissistic, actually. And think about all the people who champion their black, Hispanic, or Native American heritage. Many people want to stand out and not blend in, actually. We talk about race like it's this like built-in intrinsic thing, but the reality is 
We're mostly talking about looks, right? If I'm going to be white, well then why can't I have blonde hair and blue eyes? If I'm gonna be Mexican, then why can't I have dark skin and speak perfect Spanish? <laughs> nice to mole you. Meet you. Nice to meet you, mole. Don't say mole. Stop. I said mole. Stop. Bye. Mole. 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 Oh, shut up! Mole, 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 mole. People think I'm Asian, why can't I have, you know, be really tiny and skinny and like fit into all these stereotypes, but I'm not a stereotype. I'm just like me. I think you guys are about to get to my point. Your racial background doesn't matter. You're a human with a name and a personality. You're not some mixed breed dog at a pet store. Part bulldog and part Labrador isn't who you are. Your name is Spike and you like eating begging strips and you sleep under your mom's bed at night. And for mixed people who sort of live in between the lines, we sort of just have to kind of be more than our racial background. Everyone who wants to be someone has to be more than just their racial background. You don't need to fit a mold that other people think you should fit. It's difficult learning that you don't have to decide what race you are. Speak for yourself, ear boy. It's not that difficult to realize, hey, I'm not white and I'm not Mexican. I'm John and I have pointy ears. There's no textbook on how to be multiracial and be okay with it. And there's no textbook on how to be white or black or Asian and to be okay with it. You just kind of have to forge ahead and be your own person. Forge ahead, huh? On your journey, right? This girl thinks so highly of herself. She's a brave biracial girl forging through her struggles in America. Except I haven't heard any real struggles yet and the video is almost over. If your biggest obstacle was people couldn't guess what race you were, then I think you've lived a pretty fucking charmed life, lady. You know what real struggles are? Finding food to eat and survive in Africa. Escaping a brutal dictatorship by smuggling yourself onto a shipping container. Women in Saudi Arabia struggle with sexism, forced marriages, and rapes that are legal. This girl's struggle is trying to figure out what eyeliner to match her outfit. Get some fucking perspective and stop playing the victim. The problem with this video is twofold. First, these cucks are ashamed to be partly white. We're in a fucked up day and age where being white in America is bad, and being a minority is champion. Both of which are bullshit. The the second problem is people identifying themselves by what race they are. These buzzfeeders are all about races from countries they've never been to. Sure, knowing your background is interesting and can be fun, but race should never be the leading factor in who you are. I don't go around telling people I'm a white guy whose ancestors immigrated from Britain to America 300 years ago, because that doesn't really tell you shit about me except my skin color and maybe a tendency to drink. That's why when people ask, I say I'm a filmmaker from Florida. I like movies, gaming, and cooking. That's a good intro to the kind of person I am. There's too many people out there who label themselves by the race, usually in order to capitalize on it. Like here on YouTube, you got the black nerd, some black guy, brown kids humor, and that brown nerd, to name a few. Now don't get me wrong, I'm a fan and watch some of these guys a lot, but when I see channel names like this, I wonder, would they be as popular with another less racial name? What do you guys think? Is being biracial a struggle? Should people identify by what race they are? How many of you want to bang that half Danish chick? Comment below and thanks so much for watching a new episode of No Bullshit. See y'all next time. Well, you asked for it and now you got it. New shirts are out at the No Bullshit Teespring store. We've got the plain No BS shirt, the bullhead shirt, and my new favorite shirt brought to you by a quote from Zara Larson. Get your look at the static shirt today. Links below or just search No Bullshit on Teespring. Thanks again, you guys. Have a good one. Bye-bye.